असलम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम योर फिज़िक्स टीचर फॉर क्लास एट ड्यू टू दिस पेंडेमिक सिचुएशन स्कूल्स आर क्लोज अगेन वी आर रिकॉर्डिंग लेक्चर्स फॉर यू प्लीज लिसन टू द लेक्चर्स केयरफुली डू योर होमवर्क एंड सबमिट इट ऑन टाइम डियर स्टूडेंट्स ओपन योर रजिस्टर ड्रॉ मार्जिन पुट डेट चैप्टर नंबर चैप्टर नेम कानामेटिक्स ऑफ लीनियर मोशन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ड्राइव द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन ऑफ मोशन फर्स्ट इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन वी एफ इज इक्व टू वी आई प्लस ए टी सपोज अ बॉडी इज मूविंग विद यूनिफॉर्म वेलोसिटी एक्सेलरेशन एंड इट्स इनिशियल वेलोसिटी वी आई बिकम वी एफ आफ्टर टाइम टी अकॉर्डिंग टू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन that it is the rate of change in velocity that is acceleration is equal to vf minus vi upon t this is the rate of change of velocity now cross multiply this t with a acceleration we get at is equal to vf minus vi so vf is equal to vi plus at hence it is derived second equation of motion S is equals to V I T plus half A T square. Suppose a body is moving with x an acceleration a. Its initial velocity is V I and final velocity is V F. After time t, the distance covered by the body is as under. Distance s is equals to velocity into time. But average velocity is given by V I plus V F upon two. Now we have to put this velocity value of average velocity in equation number one. By substituting the value of v in equation number one, we get s is equals to v i plus v f upon two into t. This is the value of average velocity. Uh, we put this uh, value in equation number one. The equation which is to be uh, to be derived is free from vf so we can substitute the value of vf in equation number 2 vf is equal to vi plus at we have to substitute this vf from the value vi plus at so we get s is equal to vi plus at plus vi upon 2 into time S equals to two v i plus a t upon two. We get this two v i from previous equation. Multiply by time. S equals to two v i t plus a t a t square. We get this a t and v i t from the uh, this time, and this is multiply by this whole bracket. Okay. Uh, this two is with also with this v i t two v i t and also with a t square. So we can write it as s is equals to two v i t upon two plus a t square upon two. Uh, okay, we can cut this two uh, values of two. These twos are cancelling each other, so we cancel these twos. We uh, we have only v i t. Plus a t square upon two. We can write this equation also as uh, following: s is equals to v i t plus half a t square. Hence, equation for second equation of motion is derived. Third equation of motion: two a s is equals to v f square minus v i whole square. Suppose a body is moving with an acceleration a. Its initial velocity v i become v f after time t by covering the following distance s is equals to v velocity into time, but average velocity is given by v i plus v f upon two. By substituting the value of v in equation one, we get s is is equals to v i plus v f upon two into t. The equation which is to be derived is free from t, so t can be calculated by the equation given below. V f is equal to v i plus a t. This is the first equation of motion. Uh, first equation of motion. Uh, for the value of t, 
the uh, we write v f minus v i is equal to a t or by cross multiplying a we get v f minus v i upon a is equal to t this is the value of t now we put this value of t in equation number 2 by substituting the value of t in equation number 2 we get s is equals to v f plus v i upon 2 into v f minus v i upon a by putting formula a plus b into a minus b is equals to a square minus b square we apply this formula over v f minus v uh, v f plus v i into v f minus v i so we get v f square minus v i square so we can set it as it is equals to v f square minus v i square by multiplying 2 and a with each other we get 2 a now cross multiply this 2a with s we get 2a as equals to vf square minus vf square hence third equation of motion is derived this is your today's lecture submit your uh, work on coming saturday thank you